The topic of this video will be lens dislocations, also sometimes called lens subluxations. We'll talk about what they are, how they present, how they're diagnosed, and then two diseases, Marfan and homocystinuria, that are classically associated with lens dislocations. And we'll conclude with a discussion on how lens dislocations are treated. So first of all, what is a dislocated lens? Well, simply put, it is a lens that has been moved out of position because some or all of the supporting ligaments or zonules have been broken. Reasons that these zonules can be broken include either trauma or diseases that weaken ligaments, such as Marfan syndrome and homocystinuria. On the right is a picture of a upwards lens dislocation. Uh, this lens dislocation is also sometimes known as ectopia lentis. You can see here that the lens is displaced superiorly, allowing you to see this inferior border of the lens here through the pupil. The most common symptom of a dislocated lens is blurred vision, and this is typically due to a refractive problem. In certain milder cases in which the lens is only partially detached, the patient might not report any visual symptoms at all. Some patients might experience an iris that quivers due to disruption of these ligaments. Here is a picture of a lens dislocation, and here you can see the border of the lens. Diagnosis is typically quite straightforward and done by slit lamp. This is an example of an upward lens dislocation that might be seen with Marfan syndrome, as you can see the inferior border of the lens here. So as a review, Marfan syndrome is a genetic disorder of connective tissue. It is autosomal dominant and caused by a mutation in FBN1 gene, which makes up fibrillin. Of course, fibrillin is an important component of elastic fibers and connective tissue. So patients with Marfan syndrome are generally very tall. They have long, slender toes and fingers, a condition known as arachnodactyly, and an upwards lens dislocation. I usually remember this because when I think of Marfan syndrome, I think of Mars, and we need to look up to see Mars. In mild cases, surgical extraction of the lens is generally not needed unless the dislocation interferes with vision. So like Marfan syndrome, homocystinuria can also cause lens dislocations. As a review, homocystinuria is a genetic disorder of a normal metabolic pathway. It is autosomal recessive and is characterized by the absence of cystathionine beta synthetase, or CBS. Without CBS, homocysteine cannot be converted into cystathionine, and homocysteine builds up. Patients with homocystinuria present with a morphinoid body habitus, which means that they can be tall. They also have long, slender toes and fingers, arachnodactyly. Unlike Marfan syndrome, they're also subject to thromboembolic events, and that's because homocysteine is thrombogenic. And unlike Marfan syndrome, homocystinuria can also present with developmental delay. Marfan syndrome generally presents with an upward lens dislocation, while homocystinuria presents with a downward lens dislocation. And I generally remember this because the urea in homocystinuria makes me think of urine, and I think of the flow of urine downwards. Because lens dislocations can be caused by trauma due to disruption of the zonules that normally support the lens, the best way to prevent lens dislocations is to protect the eye. This can often involve goggles or other protective eyewear. So often, lens dislocations do not need to be treated unless they cause symptoms. For mild cases, blurry vision caused by dislocated lens can be repaired with glasses. Definitive treatment for severe cases, of course, is surgery. After management, it may be appropriate to assess the patient for any genetic predisposition, for example, Marfan syndrome or homocystinuria, if no other cause for the lens dislocation is identified.